I'm going to demonstrate uh, charging some supercapacitors with a couple of solar panels. Um, and I'm doing it right now with them unbalanced. They're just connected together in series. I've got six of them. And uh, they're basically 2.7 volts each. I'll show you here. We got one right here. If we get into view. 2.7 volts, green cap, 100 farads. So 2.7 times 6. So here. Equals 16.2 volts. Alright, so you figure this thing when it's full should be able to put out 16.2 volts and gradually drop. Now, what I'm using over here, I'll show you. Right now, it's connected to these two solar panels uh, that are about 17 volts each. And I've got the solar panels connected in parallel just to give it a little bit more juice. And you can see right now, I have uh, it connected to the super caps and they are slowly charging. 4.96, 9.7, slowly going up. I will disconnect the super caps right now just to show you what the actual voltage of the two panels together is. So we're getting about 17 volts. The sun's actually going behind this tree right now, so we don't have tons of amperage. But uh, that should give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on there. And put that back on there, and we're at 4.92 volts, and should be slowly charging, 4.93. So, as you can see there, the voltage of the panels is, is higher than 16.2, which means there's the potential to overcharge this entire bank. Uh, there's also the risk of overcharging one of these particular capacitors in general. Uh, because they charge at different rates and one might be fuller than the other and I'll try to give you a little demonstration of that in a minute as well. Yeah, hook this back up to get it back to charging. There we go, we're at 4.9 volts. Now over here I've got a little DC geared motor and it's uh, rated for 12 volts and it uh, it's a nice little I think it'll actually operate at less than 12 volts. And I just have it here, just sort of a visual demonstration of uh, the power. So I'll, I'll go ahead and hook it up just to show it working for a second. We got enough power to turn this little 12 volt motor, even though we're only at 3.4, so you can see the voltage is dropping because that motor is putting a load on the whole system and taking out some energy. But it's staying, uh, you know, fairly stable around 2 to 3 volts because we've got those panels connected, so it's continually getting juiced. I'm going to disconnect the motor here and just let these guys charge up for a while. Alright. Now, I'm going to give you a little visual of each individual capacitor charging. <clears throat> so I've got two multimeters here. This one's auto ranging. And the other one's just showing you the uh, entire bank as it's charging up. All right, up to five volts there. So let's see what we've got on this particular capacitor here on the positive end of the charge. We're up to 0 0.41 volts. Let's see what this one is. And this one is 0.9 volts. So you can see there's a little difference there. And what's this one? Uh, 0.93. And this one is 0.72. You can see they're charging at different rates. Or basically, they all, they all have a slightly different voltage. And this one's at 73.73. And this one here is at 1.1. I'll just leave it here for a second to show you that it's charging. So you can see on both sides, the whole bank is at 5.34 and rising. And this particular capacitor that I'm on is at 1.1 volts and slowly rising as well. 
So get back here to this one on this end. And we're at 0 0.4, 2, and should slowly be rising. There we go. So right now, these things are charging up. They're all under their rated capacity or charge capacity. So everything's fine and dandy. Everything's great. So just let these things charge for a little while. Hold on here, we're at 0.9 here, okay, just checking again. 0.9 there, I think these were like around 0.7 or something. Yeah, 0.7, slowly going up. Get these probes in there, 0.7. And 1.1, so you know, these things are slowly filling up. I'm going to let them charge for a little bit. Come back when uh, I can show you uh, a, an example of one of them overcharging with this scenario. So what will happen is one or two will uh, reach their capacity while the other ones haven't. And uh, will continue to go up while the other ones are charging. And since my panels can put out more than 16.2, which would be the rated voltage, um, it could cause them to go over. Now it's not going to cause them to go over that much with my particular panel setup, but if I was using a 24 volt panel or something higher, yeah, it's going to, it's going to be a problem. So anyway, I'm going to let these guys charge up for a little bit and we'll come back uh, when this bank is closer to its rated voltage. All right, I'm back, <clears throat> and as you can see, at least I hope you can see right here, that we're at 10.38 volts on the entire uh, six capacitor bank here. Each one of these capacitors can has 2.7 volts and 100 farads. <clears throat> I've actually connected another solar panel to this, just to get it to charge a little faster. Kind of give you an idea what these are. These are just kind of you can find these on Amazon and you have to uh, solder and wire them yourself as you can see here and I think you can even see the little diode right here definitely want to add one of those because that will block any reverse voltage for example when it gets dark and your panels uh, stop producing you don't want the capacitors to feed back in there and do some sort of damage so anyways, you can see this thing is still continuing to rise. We've got a little bit of our sun now. Three of those little uh, solar panels running. And now I'm going to start to show you individual capacitors and their voltages. So we'll start over here on the positive side, which is uh, where we're connected to the positive end of this. And see what we get here. So this one is 0.64 volts. Since it's over half full, you'd expect it to be at least half of 2.7, which would be about 1.3. But that one's not. It's on the positive side. We're moving towards negative. And this one is 1.9 volts, quite a bit higher. <clears throat> and third one over here. 2.05 volts. So that's getting close to its capacity. And what do we got here? 1.8 or lower. And <clears throat> getting closer to the end here. Get this guy on there. Oops, I'm short it out. Okay. 1.7 here, and we'll see what this guy is. 2.74, in fact, I saw it go up to 2.8 there for a second. Uh, okay, so that, there's an example of one of these reaching its maximum. We're at 2.7 volts on this last one at the negative end. And it is at its maximum. You can see it going 2.75, 6, wants to climb. 
it's probably uh, bleeding off some voltage to the other capacitors. But here's an example of uh, possibly overcharging. Not quite there yet, but take this off of there and we'll see what happens. And again, I'll go back to this one far positive end here. And it is just at 0.642 volts. All right. One of these near the middle, I think it was this one, was around 2 volts. Take a look, yeah, it's 2.109. All right, so, and we're just at 10.7 volts here on the whole bank. And I believe we're climbing 10.74. That goes up, yep, 10.75. We'll put this back here on this really low one. See if we watch it rise. Far positive in our 0.642. See how long we have to hold it there to watch it rise. 0.642. Actually dropped to one for a second there. Whole bank is still going up. This one's like almost going down. Point six four two. Let's take a look at this one. Let's see if it's rising at all. to 1.96 10.8 on the whole bank 21 I'm expecting this to go up it's kind of wavering going down a little bit Alright, not moving much, so let's check this one. I think this one was kind of low, but check, I can't remember. 1.8, 1.787, and this one's rising. It's much closer to the positive end. 8, 9, it's not going down. 0.79, so you can see here on the positive end, I'm sorry, uh, the negative end. We're on the negative end of the capacitor bank. Yeah, 2.9. 2.82. This one is over 2.7. So this one's being overcharged on the far end here, the negative side. It's got too much voltage. 283 and it's rising so that's not good I'm gonna unplug this thing here in a minute just because I don't want to damage <coughs> any of these capacitors they're not super cheap so I don't want to damage them but I did want to show you an example of what happens when you don't use a balancer you can overcharge uh, some capacitors so we're at 10.88 on the whole bank and this one's starting to rise a little bit, 10.89. But again, I'm going to show you this one. When I first hit it, it spikes. 2.984 goes down a little bit. See, this one's getting overcharged. It could damage the capacitor, uh, reduce its lifespan. You don't want that. So that's an example of what happens when you don't use a balancer. You run the risk of uh, damaging one of your capacitors, and I don't think you want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and bleed a lot of this voltage out just by connecting this motor again, just for fun. And we'll check that little capacitor that's getting overcharged and see if uh, it's back down. Now you can see that motor is really cruising. It wasn't going so fast. It had low voltage. We're at 10.9. 
Eight six. So the the voltage. I mean, I've got enough voltage in the panels here to keep this thing cranking pretty good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is start uh, disconnecting panels a little bit. You know, 11 volts there. But even right now, I wanna I wanna see what the voltage is on that one capacitor. See if it's changed at all. Just having the load that motor going 2.924 so this one's still over way over well not way over but over you know probably within its rated capacity still they you know have a little leeway but uh, you know getting close to being bad don't really want to go higher than that because it could be bad all right I'm going to start disconnecting some of these panels. See what happens. All right, we'll start with uh, this last one I put on. A little change in the motor sound. I don't know if that's probably just the sunlight. All right, so there's that one. And the voltage is still relatively stable there. Go ahead and get the rest of these guys off of here.